Hello. <clears throat> well, today I'm going to talk about a film that turned 15 uh, years old uh, last uh, last week. Last Wednesday, to be exact. Um, and uh, so I'm going to talk about the Simpsons movie. Um, now... A lot has been said about the uh, show, like regarding the quality of it, um, how it has gone on for way too long, and uh, it's not funny anymore, or there are funny episodes, like you gotta go through 20 plus episodes uh, to find a few that are, um, but I'm not going to talk about that, obviously, I'm going to talk about the the movie um because the movie is actually quite good um after all these years uh it's still very enjoyable um and i in a way i think that this film would have been a perfect way to end the series as a whole sort of like how um the spongebob squarepants movie that was supposed to be the series finale because the creator of the show wanted it to be definitively done um, but, you know, Nickelodeon decided to not go with the creator's wishes, and so it's still on today. Um, but The Simpsons, um, yeah, the first decade or so had excellent episodes. There are still some good episodes, even before this film came out. Um, so it wasn't, like, really going downhill, but, you know, uh, Quality uh, was declining, and it was, you know, fairly uh, uh, evident. Um, but for this film, they got a lot of the old writers back. Um, this movie was written by James L. Brooks, Matt Groening, Al Jean, Ian Maxstone Graham, George Mayer, David Merkin, Mike Reese, Mike Scully, Matt Selman, Jason, uh, or John Schwartzwelder, and John Vitti. Um, movies directed by jo uh, David Silverman. Um, and uh, now this is just an overall a uh, very good film. You know, the uh, plot is. You know, Homer's polluted the lake with a pig, uh, you know, the uh, silo where all the uh, pig feces is, or as he wrote it, uh, pig crap. Because, uh, yeah, you know, he's got a pig, you know, spider pig, which was a huge thing at that point in time, which, of course, that was uh, Harry Plopper. Um, but, you know, he, uh, and from that, you know, the EPA, uh, you know, got involved and decided to, you know, put a big dome over Springfield, uh, to, so that contamination is just within the town. And then afterward, you know, decided to blow it up and, you know, we see the aftermath in Chicago, uh. The villain, uh, played by Albert Brooks, uh, you know, it, it, it's a very interesting, you know, a very good overall film and story in fairly typical Simpsons fashion. It's the kind of thing you'd sort of see in an early, uh, you know, something like that might be a more of a wacky out there. Um, idea perhaps but uh overall it's pretty good and the disc is pretty cool you know donut something like that um but also the inside you get this uh springfield uh shopper it's a little like newspaper and uh oh, uh you know there's something for the video game and um, free wallpaper and uh first 10 seasons on DVD, and um, the 
this five dollar reward card and uh also these uh special themed dvds also and then the back there's a uh, You know, a new Simpsons ride at Universal Studios. Um, fans go wild for Simpsonshop.com and all that. And then on my back is like a Homer uh, reviewing a movie, which is Star Wars and how he's going on and on. And now, you know, you know for anyone who's not familiar with uh, Star Wars, it's a parody of Spaceballs. And then um, goes on about how he then gets into how Raiders of the Lost Ark. And then the next week he's going to talk about Star Wars, which was, you know, what he was supposed to be reviewing. Anyway, so the DVD has this. So I don't know if it does anymore. I got this when it first came out in 2007, like late 2007. So cool. I don't know if the Blu-ray has this. I have never gotten the Blu-ray. I've wanted to, but it's just, I just never did. Um, I don't believe there is anything new or special that this, um, the DVD doesn't have, though I could be mistaken. Um, and if I am, okay. Um, but I can't recall so if that is the case. Um, oh, come on, there you go. I mean, it tells you to watch The Simpsons 8, 7 Central on Sundays. Well, it's still on. I don't, I, I have a feeling the people who made this film and also even the show at that time didn't think this show would still be on after all these years. But, you know, the, this film is really like a big, long episode. Um, like a 90 to 100 minutes, oh, 87 minutes, so about 90 minutes. Or a 90 minute episode and um it's, overall it's very good you know i enjoy it i think that the film is still good um even if the show has declined um since the film's uh premiere you know in terms of quality at least um it's still worth you know watching you know it's one of those movies that it's still entertaining it's that's and that's a good thing you know that's what i think that's something that uh, you know every movie should strive for it's to be entertaining that way you know years later you go back to rewatch it and it's still entertaining you know some movies aren't that lucky um but this is uh really good and uh i like it i enjoy it still you know the plot overall again is like a fairly typical sort of episode you might have seen within the first 10 or so years maybe a little after the first 10 years um but you know it, it it's really cool to just see how the, the how the some of the old writers return of course Conan O'Brien did not uh, return to you know have any hand uh, on the Uh, script because you know he had his talk show at that point um uh, still is doing like talk shows i believe i know there's a thing he's got like a hbo max or something i don't remember one of the streaming services he's got a new thing on um but yeah this is a but you know they got as many of the old writers to return which i think helps you know because you're you it does feel sort of like old style Simpsons in a way um but still it's um it's it's just still very uh very entertaining um and uh if you haven't watched it in some time uh you know rewatch it it's very good you know it's one of those movies that's still holds up after all these years um i remember seeing it in the theater it was 13 loved it it was just hilarious and um very enjoyable um 
uh, a, just a very uh, memorable theater going experience for me uh, for, for just multitudes of reasons. I mean, I, I don't want to get into all of those because <laughs> some of them are very private, but you know, um, it was just very, you know, a, 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 uh, it was a very good experience uh, at the time I saw it, and uh, I'm happy I got to see it when when I did. When I did. Um, and you know, rewatching it all over all these years, it's just uh, it's just really good. Uh, that's really all I can say. You know, I'm just talking in circles now, um, but you know. Excellent uh, film. Uh, you know, feels like uh, like old Simpsons in a lot of ways. You know, like the early episodes just extended into a, within a ninety-minute time frame, and uh, still just holds up. Um, so, uh, you know, what do you think of the Simpsons movie? You know, do, do you? enjoy it still or do you dislike it um or or did you like it when it first came out but as time went on you just weren't fond of it for one reason or another sometimes that happens and i was curious about this you know uh, uh but i still like it i think it's still good and um very entertaining and so that's all i really have you know it's august new month um and i hope uh all of you are doing well hope all of you are having a great day hope you all have a had a, had a great week and hope you're all having a, gonna have a great weekend see you all next time bye